Alright, folks. Welcome back to the Oracle of Ages Randomizer. I think at this point, we are only two items away from Go Mode. Believe it or not. I'm pretty sure the only two items left that we need in order to clear the seed are the Tune of Ages and the Past Mermaid Key, and that's it. Oh. <laughs> yes, we have a new sound alert. <laughs> I added it per Mobius' suggestion. <laughs> Hopefully it'll be amusing. Anyways, yeah. So we, all, we have four dungeons left, but we should have pretty much all the equipment that we need. We need the Past Mermaid Key to get into one of the dungeons, and then we need the Tune of Ages in order to reach Jabu Jabu's belly. Other than that, though, I think we've got everything, so I just gotta find a time portal. Actually, no, we, there's a time portal over in Symmetry Village. <laughs> exactly. Man, I'm getting annoyed of running out of Gale Seeds. There's, like, literally only one tree in the game that seems to have Gale Seeds, and it's in a really out-of-the-way place that I never would want to warp to. So I'm actually going to go out of my way to warp to it right now. And while we don't need it for go to enter Go Mode, it would be nice if we got the Noble Sword. I'm going to go here and just get refill on the Gale Seeds. And now we're going to go to past Mermaid's Cave, so that way we can finish present Mermaid's Cave. Do -do 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 -do. Now that we got the bomb bag, we should be able to get through this more easily. And by that I mean we can get through it, period. Wizards are kind of a pain in the butt. Oh boy, the compass. I'm so happy about that. Oh no, not the candles. Alright, seriously? Man, there's just no escaping from them. Oh, thank you for the bomb. Refill? I actually am very happy about that. For some reason, it has to be a very precise order in order to open up the wall. I don't know how they plan that, but alright. <laughs> That's true. The blue ones are the worst. Oh! It should be relatively smooth sailing from here, though. Because we've, we've gone for the worst of the dungeons. Well, not quite. Ancient Tomb is still tough, and uh, Crown Dungeon's not much fun. But Jabu Jabu's over and done with, so I'm happy about that. Hey, Potato! Welcome! Just in time, you haven't really missed much. We're just swimming around in the mermaid's cave. Hello, little snakies. A small key at last. Oh, yeah. I, I let's play Zelda 1. Level 6 with the Wizards is not fun. I still don't know why the music gets off tune. It's like the it's the Game Boy Color sound chip. Surely that's not difficult to emulate. Oh shoot! Got to take care of the stupid candles again. It's freaking impossible to avoid those guys. They're too fast. Should have gone over here first. Oh yeah, that's important. Actually, technically speaking, because the past mermaid's cave is where the boss is, we technically may not even need to beat the present mermaid's cave. 
And that could be nice. Yeah, normally Seasons has the more dangerous encounters, but the candles really are annoying. Oh boy, speaking of the devil. Oh, well he actually wasn't too bad this time. Wait, is that... is that right? I guess we'll find out, because I haven't done much in the present mermaid's cave. I got locked out of most of it. That bomb almost blew that guy up into me. That would have been bad. <laughs> well, at least we can blow it up in the past still. It might be the case where if you blow it up in the past for some reason it's blown up in... Or if you blow it up in the present, it's blown up in the past as well. I don't know for sure, though. It's still kind of evil to have to bomb a normal-looking wall, though. I'm never gonna be okay with that. <laughs> Come here, little snakies. The snakes look adorable. Even if they are a bit of a nuisance. Oh, yay, switch hook puzzle. I'm always happy to use the switch hook. Yeah, the long hook definitely speeds this up. Yay! Another key. How wonderful. Ooh! Mermaid Link is kind of a pain in the butt to control, though. Still not a fan of that, even if you can swim pretty doggone fast. Alright. Ah, yes, this room. Wrong part. There we go. Why are there lots of puzzles? Because it's a Zelda game. And also, Oracle of Ages is very puzzle focused. Oh, hey! We're at the boss already. Hey, Octagon. This guy's pretty simple. Granted, I also have almost maxed health, so that helps as well. <laughs> Not too bad. Oh, yay! We finally get the Brother Emblem. Now that Goron will move out of the way of the stairs. Not that we needed him to. Alright! And we get the Bereft Peak. 
Aw, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, brother. <laughs> By the way, how you doing, Mobius? Nice to see ya. He can mess you up a bad way if you don't possess- Yeah! He was kind of tricky on my cursed playthrough. Alright. We could go to Ancient Tomb, and that's probably the smart thing to do. But I think instead... I think instead we're going to go back to the present Mermaid's Cave. Which I believe is over in Symmetry Village. Because there's more stuff that we can get here. Now that we've used our bombs liberally. The candles have moved one room over! Gosh darn it. Is there a sister emblem? Uh... Not in this game. There is a fire emblem, though. <laughs> oh, that's right. The switch hook just kills the bats. <laughs> Yay, a small key was locked behind a small key. That's just great. Boing, a boing, a boing. Oh yeah, I'm forgetting to mark off whenever we get a non-key chest. Although I'm not sure if we've gotten any yet. <laughs> oh, I hate Bemos. Oh hey, the boomerang! At last! I believe that's the last nor uh, inventory item that we get. It's not needed for anything, but its stunning capabilities can help. And it can turn anti-fairies into just fairies. When is the next stream? Uh, Wednesday, 8 p.m. EST. I stream Monday, Wednesday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard, and then I also generally stream on Saturday at 1 p.m. Eastern. Oh boy. So I learned, so this is... There are two levers here. One lever will make snakes spawn, and another will make the chest appear. It is not 50-50, from what I've learned. For one, you are guaranteed to fail the first time you pull it, and it's always a one out of three chance that you get it right. Speedrunners hate it. We get the protection rain. Oh boy. That's the rain where everything will damage you one heart. So it's terrible against common enemies, but against really powerful bosses, it's great. Although the blue rain is pretty much always better. Although, that is... One, uh, check that less <laughs> Actually, wait, we can just save and quit, and reset back to the start. I wish more Zelda games did the magical rings that gave you passive abilities. It was a really cool idea. I feel like just the Oracle games, most of the rings kind of sucked. Yeah, the rings are great. Well... The concept is great. But as I said before, uh... It's not always done properly. There are too many rings in this game where it's just like, Haha, This doesn't actually do anything, but... Or this is really bad, but it's fun! Have a hand, folks. Get out of here. Oh, 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 oh no! It's Loophole Santa! Oh no! How's it going, Shaggy? <laughs> I asked for the Game Boy Color Zelda game for Christmas, but Santa gave me- but stupid loophole Santa gave me ages instead of seasons. What the heck? 
What the bleep, Santa? Fill it well. <laughs> the dice block puzzles are really weird. I forgot about that. Oh boy, I'm so glad I went all this way for the compass. Yay! <laughs> Santa, can you have the winning loophole? Can you have the winning lottery ticket? Of course, you win one penny. Oh, oh. You didn't specify how much money you wanted. <laughs> Doggone it, loophole Santa. Oh, your loophole Santa was a lot nicer than mine. <laughs> Five dollars. <laughs> you could eat at Taco Bell for that. I don't know why you would want to eat at Taco Bell, but you could. <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> what kind of a lottery would that be? One that nobody would play. Dollar menu. <laughs> Wouldn't that mean that you get more than one dollar worth of stuff from it? <laughs> oh man! Long live loophole Santa! Not what we need, but what we deserve. Oh shoot! Or, you know, if you know, if you're smart and know how to cook, you could eat pretty well for free dollars at home, provided you know what to buy. Oh, that's right, I lost my shield from a, to a like-like. Whoops. Alright, Vire, you better have something good. I went very far out of my way to get y your prize. No, you don't, Mr. Gibdo. Out of here. Oh, I hate- I hate Vire. Mainly just because of my cursed Seasons playthrough. Where he was basically a luck-based boss that I had to reset over and over again in Ancient Ruins, and boy howdy was it a long trek to get back to him if you failed to him. If you died to him. Zelda 2 Redux? Someone's trying to, like, remake Zelda 2. But make it actually good. <laughs> like, sometimes Vire approaches you, but most of the time he doesn't. He just kind of hides like a coward and spits stuff at you from a distance. I'm the bully? You're the one who's picking a fight with Artie. Bullies don't have a good track record against Artie. Fine! Goodbye! Take that. See you, Potato! Thanks for joining in. Gar har har. Alright, will he give us junk, or will he give us the Tune of Ages? Oh no, I hate this room. This is like the most precise trick in the game. And I say trick. You've got to literally... its I think its it might actually be like a frame-perfect bomb throw. It's not quite frame-perfect, but it's like three frames or something. It's ridiculous. All that for 200, 200 bucks? The ad said 3,000. Otherwise, I would have had to farm bombs. Yep, that would not have been fun. Okay, well... Guess what, folks? We're going back to the... We're gonna actually head over to Dungeon 8 now.
or whatever Dungeon 8 turned into. Actually, no, we're not. We're actually not going to go over there. <laughs> you stated your way through. Yeah, that's acceptable. We never actually uh, beat Dungeon 2. How many essence? I have five out of the eight. I still need to beat Dungeon 2, Dungeon 5, and Dungeon 8. Actually, what did the Wing Dungeon turn into? Oh, I... F wait, no, it did not turn into the Skull Dungeon. Wait, which dungeon did it turn into? I thought I already stepped inside it. Did it become Dungeon 4? Maybe it did. Oh yeah, it did. We did not get all of the t stuff in here, though. We didn't even fight the mini-boss. <laughs> you know what? I love the Skull Dungeon, so let's go and take a romp. Plus, I came all the way here, so... Ouch. I hate falling in Dr. Pepper. What?! Stupid Dr. Pepper. Oh, what? You're not actually expecting me to kill the freaking fire keys, are you? Just... Jun! Fire keys are so annoying. Wait, what the heck? Oh, I was pushing the wrong block. Heh <laughs> Oops! And this is what the boomerang can do. And that's pretty much it. Well, it's gonna be a long trek back. That's okay, I'm prepared for it. <laughs> Dr. Pepper's a waste of everything that goes into it. Wow! <laughs> Tell us how you really feel, Nintendo Addict. <laughs> I mean, I'm no fan of Dr. Pepper, either. I'm pretty much a water guy. Although, do enjoy the occasional Sprite. Sprite's pretty good. But I only have it every so often. I at least admire Dr. Pepper for... Tasting different than the other, so than like a lot of the other sodas. Like I feel like Coke and Pepsi pretty much taste the same. Sprite and Serum Mist pretty much taste the same. Root beer kind of all tastes the same. Dr Pepper's its own thing, and I I admire that. I admire the grind. I love Gale Seeds. Oh, really? I have to do this puzzle again? Hmm. 
Maybe th this, this better give me something good then. If I'm going all this way, they better give me something good for this. It's gonna be. Don't worry, you get the subrosion ring. Doggone it! <laughs> I don't want the subrosion ring. I want the red ring, even though it's not in this game. <laughs> oh, what? Tara. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not a fan of cola. Besides, guys, RC is the where it's at. Said nobody ever. <laughs> I do love Skull Dungeon. I just forgot how many of the puzzles you have to do again, even if you've already beaten them the first time. Oh no. Oh ho! <laughs> that was almost bad. I'm doing that because it's fun. Well, Link's name in this is Artie, so... Actually, you're not wrong. It just looks fun. Also, I freaking love Link's sword in this game. It's super long, and you can fire it- you can swing it so rapidly. <laughs> Dude, I can't believe you didn't fight me the first time! That's so rude! Sorry, Kane Armos. This is what happens when an, <laughs> when an unstoppable force meets an immovable object. It moves the immovable object. <laughs> spider shield! Spider shield! Does whatever a spider does. No! You'll pay for this! <laughs> no, I don't think I will. <laughs> that would be bad. Well, his sword is the only thing that can damage his shield. He got ripped off. Oh, yes! Yes! This room is fun. I might be the only one who actually likes these tile puzzles, but... Eh, I think they're fun. Uh-oh. I already messed up. <laughs> I already messed up big time. There we go. Oh boy, I got went all that way for the freaking dungeon map. I like all of those puzzles except the one in the Linked Heroes Cave. That one is just absolutely stupid. <laughs> what should we do for fun? No guessing. Okay, no, we can't go up. Watch this. This is all going to lead nowhere, isn't it? We're going to go all this way, and it's going to be like, you got a Gasha Seed. No! I don't want a Gasha Seed. Just the boss key chest left? Yep. That's what it looks like. My problem, I'm too stubborn. I'm like, I came all the way here for this dungeon. I'm not just going to back out, even though I've already gotten most of the stuff in here. I will be validated if the Tune of Ages is in this chest, though. 
I'm also going to be a little annoyed because I could have gotten it way earlier, but I didn't. Actually, no, I'm not sure if I could. Because I needed... No, wait. The bombs were just locking the map chest. Never mind. Why are enemies dropping mystery seeds? Nobody uses those. Except for against Varan. Because you literally have to use them against Varan. Ouch. Oh, really? I have to kill these guys? These guys are weird. Um, excuse me. You can only kill us if we're a different color than the floor. Duh. That makes perfect sense. Ouch. One of the reasons I like this dungeon, ironically, is because it's pretty straightforward. I'm not going to say it's just a straight line to the exit, but... Very little backtracking is needed in this dungeon, and I appreciate that. Get out of here, bat. <laughs> yep. Oh, no. Doggone it. Well, okay. So the, the the small key has locked itself in. Cool. So should not have gone back here. Love it. Yeah, that really wasn't worth it. That's okay. We at least got to hear the Skull Dungeon music again, which I do like. You thought it was going to be a self-locked key. Well, yay. Everyone gets to have a laugh. And in the meantime, we can actually head to level 8 now. <laughs> hey, Dreamfinder! <laughs> Good evening! <laughs> Welcome. We're just heading our, on our way to the 8th dungeon, or whatever it turned into. It could be Ancient Tomb, could be the Crown Dungeon, or it could be the Wing Dungeon. Gotta say, I'm hoping for the Wing Dungeon. I would love to fight Headthwomp. <laughs> <laughs> crown Dungeon's not fun. Yep, it's true. <laughs> Worst part about the Crown Dungeon, though, the music. The music's actually awful. And I say that with a broken heart, because I, I love music in the Zelda games. Okay, back, back, hard hats. Back, back! Oh, oh, let's see if I can do this room without needing the Cane of Samaria. So I think if you use Pegasus Seeds... Beautiful! <laughs> we just skipped a massive puzzle. <laughs> oh, I love Pegasus Seeds. Whoosh! Ooh, and one of the best songs in the game right here. You've always done it that way? Oh, really? <laughs> They want you to do an insane st amount of stuff by pushing the Cane of Samaria block everywhere. This song is amazing, and there aren't enough remixes of it on YouTube, and I'm, I'm sad. <laughs> Back route, best route! Choo-choo! I wonder what the blue ring chest is going to have. 
I could go for vanilla blue rain. Doggone it, it's just a stupid Gasha seed. <laughs> nice Wolfos. Oh, yuck. This is not a fun room. Well, thankfully, the Wolfos cooperated. Ouch. Those are Lionels? I thought they were supposed to be Wolfoses. Oh, well. Oh, wow. Vanilla Ancient Tomb. I guess that's fitting. That's cool. I love Ancient Tomb. It's difficult, but it's very fun. Although it does have some annoying puzzles like that, <laughs> admittedly. <laughs> so that's to be expected. We at least have four chests in here, which will have stuff in it. Hopefully we find the Tune of Ages. <laughs> that would be kind of nice. Or, you know, present-day Mermaid's Key would also be pretty nice as well. Open the grave! This place has such a cool atmosphere. The music's ominous, but really cool. Okay. I also don't remember all of the dungeons super well, so I don't know the optimal route to take. So bear with me on that. <laughs> I also love how the, the eighth dungeon of this game is basically a tougher version of the first dungeon. It's really cool. Hey, a slate! Wonderful. I don't think we have to keep track of those on. Nope. The slates, thankfully, don't get randomized across the world. That would be a bit much. So I think a lot of this dungeon kinda has to be vanilla. Just based on the route you're forced to take. Ah, those turntables. Alright, I think the color switch is around here somewhere. I think it's up here. Yeah, there it is. Thankfully we got the power glove, so we can get this one early. Ouch. Yeah, there's not a lot of ways to get across that. <laughs> I think you have to Pegasus Seed jump over it, and I, I'm not wasting a Pegasus Seed on that. Bombs? Nope. Hey, the library key! I mean, maybe we need to get into the library, but it's not required. Ah, you're right. Bait the first one, jump the second. Mm. <laughs> you are smarter than I. Or maybe you just remember it a little better than I. Okay. I think there might be a way... Okay, maybe not. I'm like, there might be a way to... shoot that and move on top of the blocks, but... I actually don't think so. Uh, 
Yeah, so Dreamfinder, I randomized the dungeon entrances. So the mer the mermaid cave in the past was in the same location it's normally in, but the present mermaid's cave was where the skull dungeon normally was. Which means that present mermaid's cave is actually a totally different dungeon that I have not explored yet. So I'm still trying to find the blue mermaid key in order to get it open. It's either got to be crown dungeon or wing dungeon. Yay, a gash of seed. Oh, I've, I've been losing track of what's been hidden here. I think that counts as one of those random checks, so... Yay, I'm so glad I came all this way for a gash of seed that, that never leads to anything. Yeah, that that's an option you can check for the randomizer. I kind of thought so too, which is why it was a big shock to enter the Skull Dungeon Mountain and be in the Mermaid Cave. <laughs> Just a little bit of a shock. <laughs> Any room with Beemos instantly gets 50% more annoying. Why can't you freaking defeat the Beemos in, in <laughs> this game? Alright, I don't remember the optimum way of getting through all of these, so... I'm just gonna have to wing it. Okay... Rats, already screwed up. Yeah. Yeah, I screwed up. Oh well, we can try it again, but without the Moldorms being annoying. And we screw up again. These these puzzles are tough. I screwed it up again. Jeez. I always forget about these. Doggone it. Oops, I did it again. There we go. Second slate. Cool. Yeah. Well, that's my problem. I'm very stubborn. I keep trying the same stuff over and over again, even though it clearly isn't going to work. Oh, shoot. I'm down a key now. Well, maybe I can go over here. Maybe there's a staircase I missed out on? I must have missed a chest somewhere. That or an enemy drops a key that I'm not familiar with. Because I'm pretty sure it's impossible to softbox yourself in this. Okay, so there's nothing to switch hook over there. 
Do I have to go back to the beginning? We've already done everything on the first floor, I do know that. Maybe one of these guys drops the key. You need a key to open this door, stupid! <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, wait, that's right. <laughs> hey, Stinky! <laughs> the ultimate insult. Oh, wait, yeah, it's this one. My bad. <laughs> I forgot this dungeon is very long and convoluted. Still love it, though. I'd say this is a stronger final dungeon than Sword and Shield Maze from Seasons. But maybe it's just because I really don't like the Sword and Shield Maze that much. Ice physics are icky. And so are fire keys. Oh, for sure. Especially when you don't realize the mini-boss can be defeated by throwing his ice crystals back at him. See, when I first played Seasons, I thought that the Fry Polar guy, you could only damage by hitting him with Ember Seeds while he's in his ice form. And that took ages. <laughs> I like this puzzle, though. It's actually kind of like a 3D puzzle. Seasons and Ages use these blocks way better than Link's Awakening does. Where in Link's Awakening, these blocks were all orange. <laughs> Whether they move up or down, they were all orange. Very annoying. Okay, nothing else here. Cool. We have cleared the first two floors. Boop. Hey, if we could find the noble sword in here, that would be really nice. Oh, oh, really? I remember Eagle Tower and Face Shrine being the ones that were truly evil about it. I don't remember uh, Turtle Rock and Link's Awakening being all that difficult. Eagle Tower was just unfair, though. Oh, hey, it's the Grim Reaper! Just your average of Oh yeah, the Grim Reaper can turn you into a baby. That's how you know you should be afraid. In every Zelda game, you gotta play tennis with somebody. <laughs> In Oracle of Ages, you play tennis with the Grim Reaper, and he turns you into a baby. Not clickbait. Actually not clickbait. This guy takes a lot longer when you don't have the Noble Sword. Yay. Link has conquered death. Dang, those wizards tanked it like it was nothing. What the heck? <laughs> uh, yes, I'm pretty sure that's exactly what he was, what it's insinuating. The game, the Game Boy Zelda games have very strange lore if you think about it. Not just Link's Awakening, all of them. Yeah. 
Those guys aren't even difficult. I'm just being bad. <laughs> Thanks, Switch Hook. You truly are the best Zelda item. Ah, uh, yes, this room. This room's so fun! I love jumping over saw blades. And I'm actually not being sarcastic. I, I think these guys are quite fun to deal with. Alright, we got three out of the four slates already. This is great. The Moblin Rain. Thank goodness, we can turn into a Moblin now. <laughs> I'm so happy. It would be one thing if the Moblins could actually, you know, chuck javelins. Nope. If you turn into a Moblin, all you can do is just sit there. <laughs> Come on, I want to play for the whole game as a Moblin and actually use a sword. But no, that, that would be cheating, apparently. Nobody steal my slates while I'm gone. <laughs> no fun for you. <laughs> oh yes, the Wind Waker Moblins who have... Ganondorf spent a good fortune in Wind Waker making sure his Moblins had perfect Orphodontia work done. Seriously, the Moblins are like these like deformed pig things... But yet their teeth are, like, pristine, glistening white, every tooth in exactly the place it's supposed to be in. It's hilarious. And I know how expensive Orphodontia work is. I have had... I don't want to say extensive, but I had two different phases of braces. It was... It was... Not a frugal decision, maybe. <laughs> Oh my gosh, yes, we finally got the Noble Sword. Double damage, here we come. Weren't we just in this room? <laughs> there are three spike traps all next to each other, that's great. Oh no, I- oh, guys, guys. Remember all that time ago? Back when we got the snowshoe rain? Well, now we finally get to use it. <laughs> For literally, like, two rooms. No, Dreamfinder, the red rain is only in seasons, unless you link over. I, all of the rings I found have been really bad. The snowshoe ring is one of the best ones I found, and it's so situational. But like, what else do I have? I have like the toss ring, the moblin ring, the like like ring, the red holy ring, the protection ring, the power ring level one. You want to take extra damage? I know you do. Where's the blue rain, or the green rain? Or, like, the gold joy rain? If only the cursed rain. <laughs> hey, I already played through both of these games on my channel while always wearing the cur cursed rain. I don't have to do it again. I'm not sure if I'm familiar with the Swimmer's Rain. There are a bunch of rains that, like, I may have gotten once and never actually used, and I'm sure there are rains out there that I haven't even gotten before. 
Like, I'm not sure if I've ever gotten the first gen ring, which turns you into NES Link. I'm guessing it's just another useless, like, oh, huh, you look cool, but you can't do anything. <laughs> the wedding ring. That would be funny. Oh yeah, this part's evil. <laughs> they purposefully move the camera far up so you don't see that tiny little inlet. There's the boss key. Now, will Ramrock drop something, or will he just drop the compass? Or the dungeon map, or whatever we missed. Oh boy, it's the mimic. Mimic enemies. They're fun. Is there anything back here? I actually don't remember. It's been a while. Last time I played Ages was the Cursed playthrough on my channel, so it's been a very long time since I've played it. Okay, looks like Ramrock is probably going to drop something. <laughs> wait, what's the point of this room, then? <laughs> There's... Wait, is there literally no point to that room? Oh, wait. It leads over here, but we've already been over there. Wow, that's lame. Alright, well the last fiend is... I think he, there might be a chest before Ramrock. Either that, or he's gonna drop it. I hope he drops the Tune of Ages. <laughs> Come on, be a pal! <laughs> okay, nope. He's, he's the one who's gonna have to drop it. Hey, Ramrock. He's an interesting boss. Definitely prefer Medusa Head, though. Medusa Head's one of the best bosses. Why can I not redirect his stuff back at him? There we go. Guess I'm not far enough away. Let's go. Ouch. Okay, you hit harder than I remember. Rude. Oh yeah, Mr. Stone! <laughs> he does a little bit. Rayman 1 was great, but just way too difficult. Way too difficult. <laughs> Take this. Boom. Awesome boss music, though. Oh, yeah. He drops the compass. Okay. Well, Ancient Tomb was a fat lot enough. Wait. Did I miss a check here? We get the Falling Star in Essence of Time. Ba -da -ba -da -da -ba -da -ba -da. Did I just forget to check off one of those? Uh oh. That's not what I meant to do. Original Rayman is absolutely one of the... Certainly one of the hardest 2D platformers in existence. Okay, we got everything. And the, also, 
Dreamfinder? Uh, the P the PlayStation version, which is the one that I had, is apparently the hardest version of the game. Like there were there were different ports, and the PlayStation One version was like the hardest one by far. So that 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 was great. All right. Well, now that we got bombs, I guess we can continue going around Rolling Ridge. Oh, I want to protect the beast. I have, yeah, I've got the brother's emblem. I don't think we. Ha oh no, we do have the Goron vase. Yeah. Oh my gosh! Thank you, thank you, Goron. Well, I guess the brother emblem was actually useful. Let's head on back here. Oh! <laughs> there we go. Oh! Intensifies. Now we can go to Jabu Jabu's belly! <laughs> Everyone's favorite dungeon. Well, we already beat Jabu Jabu, but... We can go to whatever Jabu Jabu turned into. Although we will need to still buy a potion. <laughs> Alright, see you, Dream Finder. Thanks for joining in. Have a fantastic night. I think I'm lost. So now, as soon as we get the the other mermaid key, we are in go mode. It could be anywhere, but I'm hoping it'll just be in the next dungeon. True dat! Now we have to make the long trip through time across the sea. This is- this is a weird part of the map. How does anybody travel through this area? <laughs> A what? That's supposed to work. Oh no, we gotta go up here first. Yay, Tune of Ages! <laughs> we never got the rock sirloin! Wait, did that actually do anything? Okay, here we go. Now, don't tell me this is gonna be- Oh, you used it in the wrong spot! Good. Oh boy, a gash of seed, thank goodness. Zor Village, Sea of Storms. Yeah, this the Ages world map is a lot more annoying to traverse than the seasons one. Mainly because of its time travel gimmick. Which I know, like, that's what Ages is all about, and I get it, but it's still annoying. I 
I guess the sea is easier to, tra tra to traverse once the uh, pollution is gone. But it's still obnoxious the first time through. <laughs> do, 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 do. Link, do you not have any idea how many time paradoxes you're causing by doing this? Doggone it! Ugh! This is very annoying. Gotta keep going. Nope. Doggone it. Ugh. Or is this one of those cases where... Oh, the pollution just doesn't exist when you're under the water, even though it does in every single other situation. Yeah, that makes sense. Hey, Zoras. I forget which Zora house has the treasure chest in it. So I'll just have to explore all of them. It's not that one. Not that one. It might even be in the past. Ooh, treasure. I got a hundred bucks. I'll probably be needing that. Oh boy, an ember an ember sea treed. That's not a word. An ember sea treed? What? Man, as soon as I turn on that recording. I lose my ability to talk. An ember seed tree. Now one of these, this cave, yes, okay. Misa have a power glove. You get ten bombs. <laughs> this is the only other place you can get bombs in the game, and you need bombs in order to actually reach them. Thanks. Boo, it's vanilla! <laughs> Give me something great! That's not something great! Well, I guess we can pay the eyeglass library a visit. We do have the key to get in. I do not have a potion, but at least now we can warp to the tree over here. I just can't wait to enter the library. You're not getting in unless you are in the past. I actually think you literally can't get through this area? Wait. Four, two, two, one, two, three. One, two, three, four, one, two, one, two. Two, one, two, one, one. The, the tiles don't exist until you read the books. That's what I thought. At this rate, I'm gonna need the potion for myself. One, 
Right two, up one. Right. Oh boy! <laughs> Why am I continuing with the nonsense when it's just rupees? Because I need that money! Hello, Miss Octorok. I have the fairy powder. Clear out all the pollution, please. <laughs> Cleanse the seas of its evil. Gotta get it like it's a cash money gold mine. And please heal me. <laughs> I know I've mocked the fairy fountains in this game, but I have somehow run out of low on health. It definitely wasn't my fault for screwing up so many times. <laughs> no, it is the children's fault. How much money? I don't, I need 300 rupees to buy the potion. All right, one of these houses has a chest in it, if memory serves. So I do want to grab that. It's neither of those houses. Wait, don't you want to plant the gaseous seed? No. Are you sure you could get... No, I, I, I think I'm okay. Alright, I think at this point, this means we now need to... Go and grab ourselves the magic potion! Gotta go back to the graveyard. <laughs> South Lina. I guess I could run into Maple and see if she has one, but... Nah. Maple already helped me out earlier on. I don't need her help again. Do 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 Hey, Syrup. Man, those fiends are expensive, though. Oh, also, we gotta go to the library in the present as well. We gots to. Gotta get my learning in. I actually can't remember if there's anything in here in the present. Oh, yeah. There's the person who gives the Book of Seals. <gasps> okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are now in go mode. That's great. That means we can just plow through the last two dungeons. Yes. We never even grew that one tree on Crescent Island. We didn't need to. But that Goron really wants the lava juice! Well, sucks to be him. I, I think we can finish the seed today. Otherwise, Wednesday's stream is going to be really quick. Here is your magic potion. <laughs> no, you will not. I will make sure you don't forget my deeds. Hmm. 
<laughs> we gotta go back to the future! For some reason, the Zorakine is able to live for... I forget how many years it's supposed to be in between. It's, it's at least a hundred. Man, King Zora lives a long time. Hope you don't mind that we robbed you blind, King Zora. Oh boy, you've had Ricky's boxing gloves this whole time? Wait, but it's clean though. I cleaned the river. I'm going to assume that they'll let me into Jabu Jabu. Um. Um. What? Um, what was that? What the heck was that? <laughs> okay, go home, Zora. You're drunk. Oh, Jabba Jabba won't open his mouth because the stupid King Zora is like, Oh, the water's still polluted even though you saved it. Herpa Derpa Skirpa. Really, bro? You had to leave my throne and come back in order for me to register that you cleaned the water. I sure hope so, because if he's not opening the mouth for us, then we're in trouble. There we go. Bleh. Wing dungeon or crown dungeon? Oh boy. Time for our ears to bleed with the crown dungeon music. I actually like the Game Boy... Zelda music, but not this one. But not this time. No, you took away my sword beans, you monster! Boop, 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 boop. Yeah, the song is definitely depressing. <laughs> Man, Jabu Jabu, <laughs> your insides look a lot different than I expected. Oh, also, with going in here with the Cane of Samaria means we can cheese some of these puzzles. The bomb-proof rain. Now, hey! That is a rain I can get behind. No damage from your own bombs. Yeah, I will take that one. That sounds nice. So we're now on a hunt for Dabowski. Boomerang, good to have you back. My gosh, yeah, this music is not good. Oh, shoot. It was dumb. Well, we're going through the underground passageway again. Professional streamer, ladies and gentlemen. Even though I'm not. <laughs> Never have been, don't really want to be. Well, I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy for you. I think it's the weakest dungeon track. Oh yeah, this puzzle. Oh, yeah! Cool. Let's make a beeline right for Smog. Uh, 
Oh, that, I am so happy to see the boss key this early. This one locked you out in a certain seed? Dog on it. We need a small key. Once again, Crown Dungeon, I don't know super well. <laughs> like, like, you've already taken everything from me. That's also a gap. No! What the heck? Why did it suck me so far away? You suck. You know, you could just use Canis. Shut up, I don't want to use Canis. What?! I was entirely on the platform! That's such BS! <laughs> Man, these pits are like a vacuum cleaner! Also, Link just will not jump. Now, Link, when I tell you to jump, you say how high. Do you understand? There we go. Cane of Samaria will create a block, and you can push it around, and it will fall off. So you can use that to determine where the, everything's solid, but that also takes forever. And it's not fun. My way, in theory, would be faster if uh, the floor didn't just keep sucking me in. Wait, no. We want the red blocks down, because... yeah. Oh boy, and now we get to hear this sound over- Never mind, no we don't. <laughs> Mini boss time! It's the little, uh... I don't know what this guy's supposed to be. It's the basketball player. Yeah! This guy's from Link Link's Awakening. Let's play ball. Boo yeah. Actually, wait, I don't even think we needed to go this way. We should have saved that freaking small key for... Dog on it. This is not blocking the way to the boss door. Boss door is farther down. Ow! And I'm pretty sure there's a small key blocking us out of the boss as well. Oh, wait, no, never mind. Oh, so we could have literally just done this is right from the beginning. I'm dumb. It's time for our little game. Hey, Smog. Definitely not Huff and Puff.
Bye bye. <laughs> Hello. This is a creative boss. I like Smog. Even if he is a little bit annoying at times. Wait, why did he electrocute me? Alright, time for the last form. Bye bye, Smog. Yeah, I don't really care about the compass. Oh, touching him zaps you. No, oh, that's interesting. Yay, we get the sacred soil. He even gives us the beanstalk, just like Huff and Puff. Or rather, we use the beanstalk to reach Huff and Puff. Our, wow. <laughs> Alright, so we're finishing the game with Head Fwomp. Well, I mean, we're. But not, I guess we're not finishing the game with Head Fwomp, but he's going to be the last main boss of the game. <laughs> all clouds are electric, after all. That makes perfect sense. Alright, off to Present Mermaid's Cave. Never got the bigger seed satchel, but that's okay. That is optional. Oh wait, nope. <laughs> that is not the present. <laughs> Lighting, you betcha. Let's go Ween Dungeon. Oh yeah! <laughs> Don't have a shield, so we'll have to shovel these guys up. You can also just shoot Gale Seeds at them, but that, that way is more swag. I am playing Shovel Knight. How about that? Or I'm sorry. How about that? Let's hope we get the boss key early again. <laughs> this dungeon's theme is really repetitive, but I still like it. Oh, wait, we can sequence break this bad. Okay, actually, I, di I didn't... Mm. <laughs> We're not supposed to be here yet! <laughs> One of no wins is no match for me. Actually, wait, if we have Rock's Fever... Rats. No, it doesn't work. Rats. That would have been a cool touch if you could actually jump up to fight him as well. Bye-bye! Fantastic. Yeah, Wing Dungeon's great if you do it much later on. Now it's just gonna be a matter of where's the Dane boss key?
Bosky's gonna be fun to find. Another small key. Great. And here we go. Gash a seed, yes! Here it is, the moment we've been waiting for. <laughs> Not really, though. Watch the boss key have been at, like, the very beginning of the dungeon, and I just skipped past it, because I'm like, <laughs> sequence breaking. <laughs> That's totally what's gonna happen, isn't it? <laughs> oh my gosh, I love sequence breaking. It's so much fun. <laughs> So that's where the boss room is. Just need that big boy key. Ah. Yeah. Have a good night. And thanks for joining in. You're in the ween, the ween dungeon. In case you forgot, here's the music. <laughs> this is like literally a 10 second loop song. Thank goodness the dungeon isn't too long. Come on, big key. That's not the big key. Darn it, this is going to be a small key. Because the compass made that annoying little jingle. No, it's not! Oh, yeah! There we go. If only I had a ring to increase bomb damage. That would help for this fight. Alright. Hi, Head Thwomp. Well, lovely. Gotta throw him in. You gotta throw the bomb in when his head is on red. People have found a way to make it so, like, you throw it, the bomb in once, and then you can just keep throwing them in over and over without him being able to do anything. But clearly, I'm not good enough to be able to do that. Well, hopefully I don't run out of bombs. I know he'll drop more for you, but... <laughs> it 
It's an interesting boss. It's not, like, great, though. I think that was red, but there's a chance it's like, nope, it was one frame switching to green. Nope. Bye, Head Fwomp. Thank goodness for the Gasha Seed. Yay! We finally get the Ancient Wood! <laughs> There we go! All eight essences. And we even got Ricky's boxing gloves to boot. <laughs> you got the Christmas tree! An essence of time. It does a little bit. Alright, let's go get the big boy seed. Hey, Meku Tree. I mean, I probably could have stopped Varan without it, but I appreciate the huge Meku seed. <laughs> Thanks, Waifu Tree. Ah, yes. When I think of Christmas, when I when I think of Christmas, there's one game that comes to mind: Legend of Zelda: Oracle of Ages. Clearly. <laughs> Squawk! Don't you want to go to the know-it-all bird's house? Nope. Not even a little bit. <laughs> Don't you want to plant your Gasha seeds? Nope. Again, not even a little bit. <laughs> oh, but we get the best dungeon music now. Black Tower. Black Tower is the best music. Onyx's castle is a lot shorter, but doesn't have nearly as good music. <laughs> I wonder what the Kesha seed I planted near Crest. <laughs> Maybe the heart piece. <laughs> Could be the curse drain. Or just something like really meh. Like, it's the Discovery Ring. It's like, cool, but I already know where, like, all the Gasha Seed plots are. Also, that's not helpful. <laughs> no shield, but that's fine. You don't need shield for Varan. Shield can help for Onyx, but... Ron's just sitting on her butt at the top of the tower, like, My minions will take out Link. <laughs> Don't you believe it. Varan's also a much easier final boss than Onyx is. Yay! Make you see the wicked. Guess what? The one in the center was the only real one all of all. Black Tower Turret. I forget the optimum way of getting through this. So I'm just gonna do whatever. Great start. <laughs> Already went back to the beginning. Master, he says, do whatever.
Here we go. Are you gonna, like, ever go up one of these staircases? Or are you just gonna move around forever? Thank you. All right. Let's go, Veron. <laughs> Veron, we've already we've already been through this. You still hate mystery seeds for some reason. All right, see you, Nintendo addict. Thanks for joining in. Veron should be pretty easy. One of the simpler final bosses in a Zelda game. Although she was tricky in my cursed playthrough, to be sure. But everything was tricky in the cursed playthrough. <laughs> Alright, there's her first form. Very easy. All right, now it's Fairy Varan and the Dark Links. Oh, let's let's equip the uh, Fever now to give us a little better mobility. Alright, she's dishing out more damage than I thought. This should not have happened to me. Probably need to be careful for her third form. Are you alright, Artie? Oh yeah, I still got another row of hearts. You won't get away that easy. I think I will. <laughs> oh, I think I will. <laughs> Oh dear! <laughs> now it's Vron's true form, a turtle. Gotta say, Vron, you could have you could have picked basically any other animal, and it would have been cooler. She's like, this is my true form. I didn't choose it. Okay, her spider form's annoying. Especially when you run out of bombs. Hey, how about giving me some bomb drops? That would be pretty cool. There we go. That bush only sometimes drops you bombs. Alright, turtle form again. Okay, I'm actually taking more damage than I'm comfortable with here. Wasp form? Nope, back to spider form. Cool. Okay, alright. We're low on HP! Yeah. 
there we go. Whew. That was close. <laughs> Almost died there, but by Varan, we win. <laughs> Thanks for doing literally nothing the entire game, Ralph. At least Nehru gave us the bomb flower. At least I think that was Nehru who gave us the bomb flower. <laughs> Let's go home. <laughs> Don't worry, Veron. Er, Veron, Ambi, we did it. Who's gonna take on Ralph? Well, nobody. And now everybody turns back out of the stone form, including creepy clown guy who's spying on the father and the son playing ball. All of those stone bunnies now. Oh. Artie, my respect for you has grown. Dang, I'm... I'm <laughs> well, my respect for you has not, Ralph. You did absolutely nothing. <laughs> and we get the CG. <laughs> Good job, Link. <laughs> Don't think it ends here. You still need to play the Oracle of Seasons randomizer again. Hey. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot about that. That's kind of creepy. And that was the Oracle of Ages randomizer. That was fun. I wish I hadn't forgotten about so many of those checks, but it's done now. It's finished. Let's check out the spoiler log. That would be fun. I love this music. Uh, wait, where did the Oracle's randomizer go? Oh, that's right, it's over here, I believe. Yes, here's the log. Okay, so what did we not get? We did not get the sirloin. Where was the rock sirloin? Or the rock brisket? Oh, the rock brisket was completely inaccessible. Wow. You literally could not have gotten the rock brisket. I I have never seen that before. That's interesting. Oh, there was a chest in the Zora Seas that had the first gen ring. Okay, was the blue was the blue ring hidden anywhere? Not blue, blue. Oh man. Oh guys, if we had given the lava juice to that Goron, we would have gotten the blue ring. No. Oh, oh, Ambie, you shouldn't have. Notice how she made the statue of us and not her descendant, Ralph. <sighs> I think I know what I'm streaming on Wednesday, and it's going to be a one-off. Well, I say a one-off. I've, I've streamed it before, but uh, it, I haven't streamed it for a while. So I'll, I'll do a, a, like an hour and a half stream of it. And then... You know, depending on how things go, I might stream my 1K subscriber special on Saturday. Yeah, I think I'm going to be streaming it. And, uh... <laughs> at least, I've got, I've got basically two different ideas. One idea would be a recording, and that would be, like, a retrospective of my channel, but I'm not sure if I want to do that. Maybe I'll save that for later. There was also an idea I had of... It would probably be really, really terrible. But it would be really interesting. <laughs> and right now I'm kind of leaning towards that for Saturday. It, it would be... A game I have streamed before, but with a twist. A twist that I would normally not do. But if it's a 1K subscriber special. 
it could be interesting. Hmm. But yeah, thanks for joining in, everybody. This was definitely fun. Glad we could finish the seed tonight. On Wednesday, we'll be streaming a very, very fun one-off game. It's going to be awesome. I, I hope you look forward to that. Anyhow, uh, you'll, I'll probably post the stream... Uh, schedule the stream event on Wednesday so you can see a little bit in advance what it'll be and decide if you want to join or not. All right, hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your night, and God bless everyone.